Episode 4 of Moon Knight may have been the Disney Plus show's most gripping installment yet. An opening, if you will, to the second half of the season, it picked up in the aftermath of the previous episode as Layla tried to help Mark Spector Stephen Grant after the loss of the power of Concha left them, well, powerless. This opening, as normal as you might expect given the previous episode, paved the way for the most surprising and unusual episode of the series thus far. Right. Right? Layla's origin story shines through, the budding love triangle between Layla, Stephen, and Mark reaches critical mass early in the episode, which does little to improve the fractured relationship between the protagonist's two personalities. Oh, shit. It's a bold move to lead in with this instead of keeping the tension simmering on the background, but as it turns out, there's even more trouble on the horizon. In many ways, a large chunk of the plot treats this as a Layla episode. She's the character who gets the most plot exposition, she successfully fights off a lethal mummy priest creature in the biggest action beat of the episode, and even her attitude toward Harrow's mind games shows that she sees right through the villain's modus operandi. Unfortunately, Amit's servant is able to whip out the one secret that can truly hurt Layla, the fact that Mark knows more about her father's death than he reveals. Yet, the moment the action moves in the mental hospital, Layla appears as one of the patients. Was the baddest Layla viewers knew just Mark's fantasy all along? It remains to be seen, but it would certainly be a shame to lose the intricate build-up one of the MCU's coolest new characters has received so far to a plot twist like that. After all, as interesting as Layla has been so far, her conversation with Harrow confirms her involvement in one of the most iconic Moon Knight stories, the death of her comic book counterpart's father, and the rebirth of Mark Spector. This seems like the kind of thing that the MCU wants to show the audience, so at the very least, it seems reasonable to expect a flashback scene of the incident that acts as the origin story of both Moon Knight and Layla the Adventurer. Suddenly, a mental hospital. Reminds you of what? The scene is clearly inspired by writer Jeff Lemire and artist Greg Smallwood's lunatic comic book storyline, which starts when Mark Spector finds himself locked in a strange hospital with a number of his acquaintances and receives a whole bunch of evidence that he has been there since he was 12, which would mean that his adventures as Moon Knight are just a figment of his tortured imagination. One of the implied antagonists of this story is none other than Amit, the comic book spelling of Moon Knight Big Bad Amit, who may or may not hide behind the identity of Mark's psychiatrist, Dr. Amit. Appropriately enough, it's Arthur Harrow who plays the part of the doctor here. While he doesn't actually sprout a crocodile head in this version of the story, he does bring his trademark brand of vaguely menacing warmth in his scene with Mark, which is arguably even creepier. It's understood. The Eye of Horus and the arrival of Toarit, early in the episode, much is made about how the Eye of Horus ward in the Tomb of Alexander represents the senses, including the sixth one, which appears to be a mind's eye type of deal. The Dr. Harrow speaks at length about the fact that they live in a psychic world, and Mark encounters several impossible things during his escape from Harrow's office. Notably, he comes across a sarcophagus that contains a physical version of the Stephen personality. A little bit down the line, there's another sarcophagus, which rattles aggressively and presumably contains the third personality episode 3 teased. Oh, and of course, there's also the minor matter of the large, Layla is the MCU version of Marlene Alron, whose father was indeed murdered in the comics by Bushman, in the exact way Harrow describes. This is a big thing, because while Moon Knight has many antagonists in the show, Bushman is intimately connected to his origin story and goes on to become a recurring Moon Knight nemesis who causes the hero endless amounts of grief. He's an imposing and interesting character, and while it's unclear whether his eventual appearance will be as a full-on antagonist or a quick flashback cameo, it seems unlikely that the show would just drop such an obvious reference to the iconic Moon Knight villain and then completely ignore him.